Hi guys, so today I'll be talking about my Alucasia Dwarf Amazonica and how I almost killed it. <laughs> so two months ago, um, this is how it looked like. Um, got it with four leaves. It looked really nice with um, the dark leaves, so I thought I'd give it a try. I know it sort of likes more humidity, but I was a bit overconfident at that time. Um, but as you can see, even when I first bought it, it already has those brown um, tips. And I thought, no, maybe just keeping it moist will do the trick. And then, no, it didn't. <laughs> Um, if you see over here, it started to go like that. You see on these ones, it, started, it slowly started getting orange. And I lost two leaves. And this one is just hanging in there. This is part of the original um leaves so what i started to do first of course i tried to repot it in a more um fastly draining soil i was misting it i was using pebble trays um i was doing everything but i was still losing some leaves and then um just strolling through um groups i saw that someone actually put it in water so this is a month, no, no, this is two weeks after I sort of gave up and said, look, we are going into water. You're just not getting the right humidity, even though I've put it in the bathroom where it gets a lot of humidity, it still was um, losing its leaves. So this is two weeks after. And as you can see, look at that is a new leaf right there that just unfurled and that new leaf the size of it if you can compare it it's this one now look at the difference look at how big it is now so in that photo there are four leaves that includes the <laughs> one um, original leaf there which is still hanging on but it's looking like this and um this leaf it's one of the new leaves and it started out like that it's just so small so and then i have another leaf here there you go. So what did I do? I just put it in water. This is one of the original leaves that sort of started getting crispy at the edges. So what I did was I just put it in this container with water and don't mind the algae. I, I'm not fussed about it. Um, initially there wasn't any algae as you can see there, but because my bathroom gets a lot of sunlight, um, algae started um, growing. And you can just wash it off if you're bothered by it. I'm not. Um, and, or you can just put it or cover it so that it doesn't get as much light and then algae won't grow as much. It doesn't hurt the plant anyway. And as you can see, there's a new leaf. This one is actually a new leaf. So there's now five leaves and it's growing really healthy now. The only drawback with putting it in water is that it doesn't get as much nutrients um, because of course in our um, soil mixture we'd put fertilizer or such. So what I would do is I change the water, depends on how it looks like. This was just changed about a week ago. Um, I changed the water, I drop... Um, like a few droppers, maybe one or two at most, of liquid fertilizer. And I have this one. This is what I use with my indoor plants. It's a plant runner indoor plant food. Um, you can be more precise with how much to use. This one actually uses like 0.5, um, I think it says here, if I can just focus 
it says one mil per liter of water so obviously this is not a lot of water so just like put one to two drops just so it gets um, the nutrients that it needs and it's thriving and there you go if you've tried everything and um, your alocasia mozonica is still not doing great why not try putting it in water <laughs> it gets all the, the humidity it needs and um, well mine's happy and no spider mites by the way just looks like it but no just none there there you go Bye.